there and welcome to the locker room. Coach Giggs here and today's message, love what you do. Love what you do. Today with me here in the locker room is no stranger to loving what she does. Her name is Amy Shui. Amy, welcome to the locker room. Thank you. Let me, before we speak, Amy, let me give all of you a little backdrop. Amy Shui, last year, finished ninth among over 5,000 producers worldwide in our company. You heard me, ninth place. In fact, she's no stranger to our national stage. She's been on there several times. And so she continues to become and is one of the champions of our company. And I've asked her to join me in this locker room to share with all of you and me what it is that causes you to love what you do. Before we do that, Amy, what motivates you? What inspires you to achieve so many great accomplishments? What motivates you? Well, I have to say, you know, when I come into this business, the reason is I realize people are living longer. Okay. And early retirement is no longer a preferable choice. It's wonderful to be able to make your choice of staying home and work at a home basis, making money, and continue to work and make a lot of money. And what really inspired probably is money. We need a lot more money to live today. Government is in trouble from the federal, state level. Everybody have a money squeeze. Very few people have realized one of the key things is people are living longer. Wow, wow, wow. So what, what motivates you these days is the fact that you know you're living a lot longer and you're going to need a lot of money in order to live longer. And so that's one of the motivating factors is, is that you need to make the money and you know that this is the way to do it. What else motivates you? Obviously, the finances inspire you and motivate you to keep doing what you do. What else, Amy? Well. The, uh, the, the chosen of with American Income Life is have a lot to do with the Bernard, Bernard Rappaport's okay. mission about to go out and giving the average poor people a chance to have a family protection. And I came from very extensive financial training. And I came from very, very big different background. Yeah. Everything I see is like living in an ivory tower. The rich, the famous, have money, this and that. And I now consider this as a mission. And that's why I stay being a missionary. A missionary, you have to go out and do the job. Wow. And that conviction make me day after day, uh, being on the field, if I can get in a family, and give them something and come out they do something and I feel what I feel here is I see I have the vision that I just walk out of the house this family is going to have this much money if this happened if nothing happened this family or he or she is going to have this much money this has been a total visionary perception oh, wow. to, um, to pursue my mission wow I, I'm hearing you now, Amy, and I'm I'm getting I'm getting fired up here. So so you you have two things working for you. Number one, you're highly motivated to make as much money as you possibly can to be, live the to style live the lifestyle that you have. But then you have this missionary thinking, which is I'm here to help people. I love that, Amy. So so these are two big motivating factors. It's every family every day I go out I want to say gee I love what I do so much every day before I walk out I say oh it's a show time okay but the truth is the truth is when I get into a family I have so much compassion for every each family I work wow. in so I I really trying to map out the total structure and I feel because it to me it's a mission mm -hmm. and I probably don't have a lot of time to serve everybody so I want to make sure when I walk out of the house that particular household their financial need in this particular sector is very well delivered what advice would you give to all those out there who maybe they go to work every day and they really don't like their job they're really not happy they're not loving what they do what advice would you give Okay. To love what do you do? 
Look what you do. Don't quit. Get to do so well what you do and love it. So if you literally uh, think in your mind, this is so great. I never have to work another day in my life. Wow, there it is right there. When you love what you do, you'll never work another day in your life. Amy, awesome. So great having you in the locker room. Thank, Thank you, you for being here. Don't and for all of you out there, love what you're doing every day. Take Amy's advice. And Amy, we'll see you again in the locker room. Good to have you. Thank you. If you know someone you feel has a special story to tell or life to share, please email Eric directly and he will reach out to you and or this individual, even if you think this person is you. And by the way, if you've enjoyed and feel the Daily Locker Room has served as an inspiration in your life, why not share it with a friend by sending them the daily message?